welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a little something different. I got a lot of requests to do a dessert mukbang and um, I have a huge sweet tooth so it's something I've wanted to do for a little while and I'm actually partnering up with Grubhub on this video. All of this dessert is from Grubhub so I did not have to leave my house to get any of it. It is from three different restaurants. Uh, this is a apple pie pizza with ice cream on top and then I also have some caramel sauce to go with it. Uh, this is from the same restaurant. It's just a chocolate ganache cake and that has chocolate sauce to go with that. And then this in the center is from Yard House. So this is a brownie s'mores style. So it's a brownie underneath and it actually kind of looks like there's a cookie in it too, like chocolate chip cookie and brownie. Not entirely sure, so we'll find out as we start to eat it. Um, and obviously there's marshmallows melted and toasted all over the top of it. So that's exciting. And I got these two things from White Castle. I was not sure what size they were gonna be, but they're really tiny, <laughs> that's okay. Um, this is just a cheesecake covered in chocolate on a stick. And this is their gooey butter cake <laughs> on a stick. I just think it's so funny how small these are. They're so tiny, <laughs> but it's fine. So before I start, I also want to mention that uh, because Grubhub and I are working together, they are giving all of my followers a deal. So you will see a link below in my um, description for the video that will have uh, $9 off your first order. So, and if, you, uh, if you've already kind of ordered from Grubhub, you know, just use another phone number or another email address and then you'll still be able to use the $9 off. Obviously what's cool about this is I did not have to go anywhere. I just ordered everything from my phone. It got here within, uh, one of the items actually got here early. The other got here within 10 minutes of when they said they were gonna be delivered. So pretty much on time in my book. But yeah, I know a lot of people get upset that I talk too much in my videos, so I'm going to try to do a little bit more eating today. And it's been a long flippin' two weeks, so I'm pretty okay with just having a moment to eat all of this food. Okay, so I really, really want to start with this brownie s'mores thing. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. So let me show you close up. I mean, honestly. How insane does that look? Guys. <laughs> it is some wars season also. So I just found this so appropriate. All right, first bite. Oh dear God. How much stuff did I just get on my chin? <laughs> that is crazy. It's so gooey.
There's chocolate chips. It's so chocolatey. Oh. It's so rich. I like rich food. So that is definitely not a problem for me. Oh my gosh, I have to show you this. Do you see all the melted chocolate? Oh my god. It's so sweet. It actually does look like there's like a very thin layer of cookie on the bottom. So it's like chocolate chip cookie, brownie, marshmallow. Okay, let's do a little switcheroo here. So, <clears throat> this looks like it's just like puff pastry with sliced Granny Smith apples along the outside. There's cinnamon on it. And then the ice cream they boxed separately, of course. And <clears throat> I was able to just scoop it on top when I was ready to eat it. How am I going to eat this? Should I, should I just pick it up? Hold up. I have an idea. <sighs> it's a pizza, right? You should eat it like a pizza.
I have destroyed it. That's cold. I forgot napkins, but I also feel too lazy to get up and get them. Oh no, I didn't forget napkins. <clears throat> because Grubhub put napkins and disposable silverware in my bag. Ooh, excuse me. I don't know if you heard that or not. I love getting napkins from takeout restaurants. I don't usually use them when the food comes, but I always put them in my car because I always need napkins in my car for various reasons. If there is a bug that I have to kill in my car, easy to wipe up. You know, you have to blow your nose. Eating in your car, obviously. Also, I totally forgot to add the caramel <laughs> onto this apple thing and I've already eaten half of it so whatever we'll just put it on now It's better with the caramel. Really good idea. Apple pie pizza. Wouldn't that be cool for like an alternative Thanksgiving dessert. And depending on if these restaurants are open on Thanksgiving, you could just not make dessert on Thanksgiving and order stuff like this from someone like Grubhub, just to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Oh my gosh, <laughs> was not expecting to eat this whole thing, but here I am.
This is so messy. <laughs> There's like flakes of pastry all over me, all over the floor, all over this plate. Okay. I'm really skeptical about whether I'm gonna like these little rinky dink things. Okay, so this is a fudge dipped cheesesteak on a, it just said cheesesteak, cheesecake on a stick. Well, that's delicious. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna gain like three pounds just from eating this meal. This is chocolate ganache cake. I believe this is more chocolate ganache that they've given to me so I can pour it over top. It's kind of thick, so I don't know how well it will pour, but we're gonna try. Oh, it's not. It's actually raspberry. <laughs> but it's cool, raspberry and chocolate go well together. So, these past couple weeks, I don't know if y'all remember, but I did like a really, really crazy diet, suspecting that something that I was eating was making me feel bad. I lost like <clears throat> 10 pounds doing this diet, just like eating really, really clean. And then, you know, we went to the festival where I definitely did not eat clean. And I brought healthy food to try to eat clean, but that didn't really happen. And so after the festival, which was four days, we went, or I came back and immediately went to Atlanta. Oh my goodness, that's so chocolatey. So we came, went to Atlanta, did the Fred's mukbang there, if you guys watched the Fred's cheesesteaks. I'll put the link up here for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. <clears throat> but did that mukbang. Ate like 
several large meals. Like, because I'm an influencer, I was invited into a few restaurants, and so I ate like so, so, so much in Atlanta. And then, the day after I got back from Atlanta, and I was there for a week, my parents came here. And my parents love wine and pasta and cheese and like all the things that are bad for you. And something about just us all being together makes us eat them just nonstop. Ugh. From all of that food that I ate between the festival, Atlanta, and when my parents were here, and thank God I dropped them off today, I gained a whopping six pounds. Six pounds. And a lot of you are like, oh, Lindsay, how do you stay so thin? Well, it's definitely not eating like this all the time, obviously. So, I decided to rearrange my mukbang schedule, and next week, I'm going to eat something healthy. And I don't know how y'all feel about that, but I think it's actually going to work out really, really well, because what I want to eat is a roasted chicken that's like my go-to healthy meal is just like a lemon roasted chicken. I do like this like light gravy with it. And the skin gets really crispy. So it's a lot of like crispy sounds. And with the, like I always dip the chicken into the, the little gravy that I make. And there's like a lot of slurping. I just feel like it could be a fun like listening and watching experience. And I literally just tear this bird apart. I'll rip the legs off and start eating it. Like I'm not, I'm not going to be like fork and knifing it. So be prepared for that. And of course I'll give you the recipe so you guys can make it at home. Mm. <sighs> Luckily, today I actually ate something before doing the mukbang. Roasted chicken, actually. Delicious because I didn't want my stomach to be completely empty before I ate all this stuff. I don't know guys. I'm hoping that this is sustainable for me, this whole mukbang thing. I've always had a really big appetite and I obviously love to eat, <clears throat> but I'm not willing to compromise my health or my figure to keep that going. And so I'm really looking for ways that I'll be able to do these shows and really live like a healthy lifestyle. Because even once a week, like that's a lot. To eat this much food, I don't know who these other mukbangers are, if they're just like 18 years old and like their metabolism hasn't had a chance to slow down yet. <sighs> it's just not realistic. <clears throat> I like wonder if some of them are like 
throwing up their food after they eat, you know? I'm not doing that. <laughs> I can guarantee you. Even when I was in college and I was super drunk and I'm like, I just want to get sick so that I won't feel like this anymore. Couldn't make myself do it. I just, yeah, I just don't see how other people are doing these mukbangs more than once a week, putting down that much food. It just doesn't make sense. Ugh. All right. <laughs> this is so cute, by the way. I love that everything's on a stick. <laughs> it's so state fair of them. Hmm. I was not expecting White Castle to have good desserts. This one is really like crispy on the outside. And it's got this layer of the gooeyness on the top and then there's like a really like moist dense cake below it. I think it's really good, especially for it being White Castle. And the cheesecake was not bad either. Like, it's not like the best cheesecake you've ever had, but it's, it sure as hell doesn't suck. And the chocolate is like nice and like dark. It's probably more like semi-sweet. But it ain't bad. This s'mores brownie thing is freaking ridiculous. It's so good. And I'm definitely gonna try to make it at home. And this chocolate cake tasted like, I don't know. You know, a lot of those restaurants, they just buy desserts from some like manufacturer and they have it sent in. That's basically what that was. Chocolate cake to me though, even when it's not great, it's still pretty good, like sex. All right, guys, I am so full. I feel like dessert is one of those things, like you fill up on it faster than you do regular food because it's just so sweet. I also feel like I am about to fall asleep. Like something about the sugar is having this like reverse effect on my awakeness level. <laughs> Maybe it's just the sheer mass quantity of sugar that I just consumed that is putting me asleep. But holy crap, I might fall asleep right here. I hope y'all are excited for my healthy mukbang next week. I need it for myself, so I hope you guys will understand. Um, I can guarantee, though, it will be interesting. The eating sounds will be awesome. And I'm just going to enjoy it a lot more than some of these other ones because I know that I can eat a butt ton of it and not feel sick and not feel badly about it. So we can look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. You know how much I love you guys. Without you, there would be no me. So if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining today. I hope you loved watching me eat and give my small review of the food. Again, thank you to Grubhub for sponsoring this video and allowing me to share all, all of this food from a few different places around Minneapolis. Um, there is a link below to get $9 off your first Grubhub order. So make sure that you check that out to find out what's available in your area. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like what you saw today, please hit the little subscribe button below. If you liked this video, give me a like, of course. If you have any comments about what I just ate, about Grubhub, about my life, about me being engaged now, please make sure to comment that below. 
and stay tuned for next Tuesday where we will do healthy roasted chicken, maybe some cauliflower rice, might squeeze another vegetable in that too. And yeah, love you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye guys.